Hey, what's up, guys? It's Aussie again, and coming at you with another video. Shadowfire. Desolate Lands. Um, it took me a while to actually get really good at this. Uh, and the build that I use is not even a build I made up with. Um, made up with. Uh, made up myself. It's something that I grabbed from the formation tab. And I think I took, I don't know who I took this from. But I took it from someone, and it's been working out beautifully. So let's get right into it. You see here, I got an expert plus plus, which I think you get automatically once you hit 10 million. So the basis thing that you need to know about, I already forgot his name, <laughs> Shadowfire, is that you need to destroy his bombs, all of them. To get at least expert, you need to destroy all his bombs. You need that multiplier to hit times 18. If you get it to hit times 18 or even, I think even times 16 and do enough damage on his damage phase where he kind of just lets you attack him and you can build up the multiplier, then you will get a whole bunch of damage. So let's go into the formation. So we have Meredith right here as a speed lead. She's great because, and I have her on HP, HP, I'm pretty sure speed. Yep, HP, HP, speed. Fully R6. You can easily get that through uh, Ripple Dimensions. And, I don't, you know, nothing really matters with the exception of her captain ability being able to have speed across the board for everyone. And this grants allies speed up for two turns. And of course, providing some healing. But for this specifically, what's good is that she's providing speed for the whole team as a captain ability and providing a speed move. And, and that's a great support. Alice, I don't know if you've ever used her before, but I have her on wind and I think it's HP, HP speed. Yep, HP, HP speed. And I have her fully skilled up, not R6. All we want is she has a passive ability that every time she takes an action, she has attack up for one turn on uh, Grant's buffed allies. <laughs> and she gets assists, which is awesome. So attack one enemy. It's Starstream. Attack one enemy. Damage 120, blah, blah, blah. 30% chance of calling one ally to assist. That's the basis of all of this. This is why this works. She is the reason why this works. <laughs> um, and then we have Unki Chai. There, she, there he goes. <laughs> Come back, Unky Chai. Where is he? My game crashes when I go through my thing. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but my game crashes when I do that. So we have Unky Chai. I think it's HP, HP speed. Oh, defense, HP speed. I guess in some random run that he was dying too much. So the reason why we like him is because he has this. Ropes of Destiny. Grants attack up, which is awesome, but if a tiger already has attack up, all of their ability cooldowns, negative one turn. So he pushes back a cooldown by one turn. And I think he also gives crit rate up and attack up as his passives, which are buffs for the team and what we need. But <laughs> what helps in this is that he's pushing back a turn on ability cooldowns. That's amazing for anyone giving buffs or guys going up in the air changing into god mode or even chloe doing her s3 and this girl jang main hitting multiple waters of the lead left so let's play it out so you guys can see and i'll kind of talk to talk through it and show you why this works i'm gonna leave it on three times speed because i don't want to watch it slow it's gonna be slow anyway because I'm using an emulator to do these videos. I usually like playing on my phone, but I can't find a way to really easily record videos and have it on my phone at the same time. But let's watch it. Hand of Scylla, of course, providing speed. We have him giving crit rate buff to everybody. All of this doesn't matter until the the boss Shadowfire actually puts his bombs out. He's going to attack a couple times. Boom. Hits the first three units. So I think that's why I have defense on Ugly Chai. Because he's a three star. So his his base stats aren't that high. Of course, some damage from Chloe. 
got the nice Valentine's Day skin on her. Okay, cool. So let's stop it right here. So Shadowfire is going to put out these bombs. You see this? Uh, that's what he used to attack following flames and flutter wings. Uh, there we go. Flame Light Wheel. Attacks all enemies one time. Deals extra damage to the front line. Summons eight. Five. Fire of Eves? <laughs> Basically, they're bombs. You got to get rid of all of them to get a multiplier up here. The more fiery eyes destroyed, the higher score multiplier during the stun phase. So once you get rid of all the bombs, he stuns himself, and then you do damage to add to the multiplier, which goes by percentage. So I'm just going to let this auto so you guys can see how this works. So she calls for an assist, which is nether bloom. Then I have the nether bloom on everyone. Speed. What we need is guys to go up in the... Oh, he's already up in the air. What am I talking about? Chloe. So we can attack him twice before the nether blooms explode. What we need is guys to go up in the air and, uh, well, I guess get down. <laughs> there we go. Some explosions here. Chloe doing his move and all of them are dead. And right now I have an 18 times 18 multiplier because it's just, all of them died. He's stunned. We add to that percentage. So it will be this damage times 18 for our overall score. And of course, with Alice being there, you'll see assists come up every now and then, every time she goes. I think if you can get like 500,000, it's kind of guaranteed to get X plus plus. Yeah. I've struggled with a, a number of builds for this. Uh, it's going to cap out at A+. Plus, and then, as long as you survive, extra damage gets put on his explosion for the overall boss damage. So, this is really good. All we need is one more million to get to 10 million. And that's X++ plus plus right there. Let's see. Uh, X plus, not bad. We didn't cap out to 10 million. So that's fine. Um, we, the, re, the only thing that you really care about here is getting these infernal crystal diamonds. And of course, you know, for what you're farming for. But if you're working on tier or uh, what's her name? Scotty, you know, you want all of these recurve boot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> infernal crystal diamond and the general diamond you get for doing any of the desolate lands. Um, I hope this build helped you out. Uh, if you don't have certain people, I would say what I was using before was two supports. And this is when I was capped off at just expert or triple S. I was using two supports. It was Gab and D Dahlia. And then at four attackers, you need Jang main because of the nether bloom explosions. That's a must. You got to have it. Uh, and that's her, if you didn't know. Um, and I was using Mona, Li Ling, and I think Chloe. So it was no legendaries. Gaius just makes it even better. Well, Li Ling, he could be a starter. Um, and if you didn't get him as a starter, then, you know, he's just another legendary for this. But you want a multi-hit. You want someone that does... I'm sorry, not multi-hit. You want someone that does AoE to be able and multiple hits for the nether bloom explosions it takes five to explode them all i hope this video helped you out um i'll try to put some more details in the description but i did click on all the espers so you could see what my builds were um you could just pause the video and stuff like that uh and if you need any help people have been commenting on my videos for specific builds or replacements or swaps or stuff like that so if you have any uh questions just go ahead and comment. I have a very small enough community that I can get to most of my comments. And it's great. Uh, it gives me something to do during the day to talk to you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, if you have an idea for a video, if you like this video, I'll make more. Well, I'm going to do the, most of the Desolate Lands anyway. But I also want to see if I can do 
a video for like if you don't have some of these espers say like a like i'm generally free free to play i mean i bought the battle passes but um like i want like an easier build without like a legendary in here like maybe some people need that especially for newer players all right see you guys later peace